God has promised he will never leave us nor forsake us. And in Christ, he has revealed his faithfulness to us from the beginning of time. In Genesis, Jesus is the ram at Abraham's altar. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the high priest. In Numbers, he's the cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's the city of our refuge. In Joshua, he's the scarlet thread out Rahab's window. In Judges, he is our judge. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. And in Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king. In Ezra, he's our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of everything that is broken. And in Esther, he's the Mordecai sitting faithful at the gate. In Job, he's our redeemer, whoever liveth. In Psalms, he is my shepherd, and I shall not want. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he's our wisdom. And in the Song of Solomon, he's the beautiful bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's the suffering servant. In Jeremiah and Lamentations, it is Jesus that is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the wonderful four-faced man. And in Daniel, he's the fourth man in the midst of a fiery furnace. In Hosea, he is my love that is forever faithful. In Joel, he baptizes us with the Holy Spirit. In Amos, he's our burden bearer. In Obadiah, our savior. And in Jonah, he's the great foreign missionary that takes the word of God into all the world. You go on and you see in Micah, he's the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum, he is the avenger. In Habakkuk, he's the watchman that is ever praying for revival. In Zephaniah, he's the Lord, mighty to save. In Haggai, he's the restorer of our lost heritage. In Zechariah, he is our fountain. And in Malachi, he's the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. In Matthew, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. In Mark, he's the miracle worker. In Luke, he's the son of man. And in John, he's the door by which every one of us must enter. In Acts, he's the shining light that appears to Saul on the road to Damascus. In Romans, he is our justifier. In 1 Corinthians, our resurrection. In 2 Corinthians, our sin bearer. In Galatians, he redeems us from the law. In Ephesians, he is our unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he supplies our every need. And in Colossians, he's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In 1 and 2 Thessalonians, He's our soon coming King. In 1st and 2nd Timothy, He's the mediator between God and man. In Titus, He's our blessed hope. In Philemon, He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And in Hebrews, He's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, in James, it's the Lord that heals the sick. In 1st and 2nd Peter, He's the chief shepherd. In 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, it is Jesus who has the tenderness of love. In Jude, he's the Lord coming with 10,000 saints. And in Revelation, lift up your eyes, church, for your redemption draweth nigh. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh.